Okay, what we have here is a three ton low profile long reach jack from Harbor Freight. I also got the uh, cross beam here that I'm going to go ahead and install. Um, so far, this jack has been awesome. I should have bought it a long time ago. It's low enough to get under low profile cars, and I also got it, um, it goes high enough to, you know, jack up, you know, a taller car. So anyway, for my usage, it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to install this cross beam. Um, the only thing it really needs is you got a 10 millimeter Allen. Um, it does show this little washer here. It goes under here, but if you use a three ton low profile long reach, you don't use this according to the directions. Um, looks like it should be pretty easy. The bolt goes through here. This right here goes through the hole. It goes in here. So instead of me ripping it off because it's glued on here, right here is where the bolt is I got to remove to install the cross beam. So what I'm going to do is just cut oh, the hole right here, is a slice, so I can get into the bolt, switch it out, because I want to leave this pad on. I don't want to remove it, and then it slips, you know, when I use the jack without the cross beam. So that's the idea. Okay, another good feature about this jack that I like, it has this. Let's see if I can get both. So all you got to do is just pump a couple times, and this thing goes up really easy. Look at that. Three pumps with the foot, and it's already up pretty high. Um, that's going to help out when you know you put it underneath the car onto the frame. You don't have to keep jacking it like instantly within a couple within a couple pumps. You'll be there if you know what I mean. Okay, let's go ahead and get this removed. Just wanted to show you before I start. Um, here's where the jack is completely jacked up as high as it can go. It's completely jacked up. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna leave it here that way. I can uh, don't have to bend over so far Okay, like I was saying this is the bolt that needs to go through here once the cross beam is on So obviously looks like you're gonna have to cut it right in the inside of the D So Let's just try this. I just got a little pocket knife here I'm just gonna cut through here so I can access that bolt that I have to remove. I have no idea how big the hole is. So I guess we'll do another cross. My idea is to leave the extra material there, but I can't get the bolt out. Obviously I'll just cut all the plastic stuff out. Remember, boys and girls, cut away from you. May have to cut this stuff off because this rubber is kind of pain in the butt. All right, there we go. All right, so it's in there. This will still spin because the bolt is attached to the jack. Well, that wasn't tight at all. Well, uh, so now what you're going to do is you take that, this one out. Yeah, okay, so I can't push it out, so I'm going to actually cut the rest of that rubber. And I'm just going to carve it out. Okay, it was easier just to kind of cut it off camera. Um, but you can see, basically I just put the knife right inside and just followed it around and cut it. Um, I was going to leave the rubber on there, but it's too thick and too much of a pain in the butt. So just did this. Now this comes out really easy. Okay, now 
we're gonna put this on here. That just sits right on top. We drop that in. and tighten it up. All right, got that tight. This can spin around. Alright, all right, now I got it installed, let me just show you guys, like I said, you can move around, so as you put it under the car, you position how needed. These slide out really easy, well, I guess, guess you didn't see that. These slide out really easy, you got a chain underneath to keep it from going out. You can also turn these up if you need to raise them, or lower them, well, you can raise it up that much. Uh, the other side does the same thing. So pretty good. All right, let's get this under the car. Let's see what it does. Okay, currently I'm going to jack up a 2012 CRV. Honda CRV. It's gonna jack up the rear. I'm gonna do the rear brakes. I figure um, jack up the rear and only have to jack it up once. I'll use some jack stands, but I just wanted to show you guys with it stretched all the way out, it ends up hitting just under the um, suspension arms. So I'm gonna to try to jack this up, see what it does, see if it holds it. Then I'll put some uh, jack stands underneath it. Okay, I got the car jacked up just about an inch. Um, it's pretty solid. You can see the wheels spin. Um, when you shake the car, I mean, it's pretty sturdy. Still gonna put jack stands underneath it though. But if you're thinking about buying one of these things, I was hesitant at first, but man, I only need to jack up the car once, take off both wheels. You can also do it on the side, so you jack up the right or left, take off the two side wheels. This thing is going to be well worth the money.